Hey everyone, my name is Ben Morse, and I'm here for Marvel One on One with Greg Hurwitz, newly signed uh, Marvel exclusive talent. Greg, welcome, uh, welcome to the House of Ideas. Thank you. Good to be here. Now you are best known for your novels, um, but now you're transitioning to working in comic books. I guess it's probably not fair to say in your spare time, but uh, working on comic books as well. How did that uh, transition come about, and how did you end up with us here at Marvel? Well, I was doing an event for a book gig with uh, Brad Meltzer. And we were talking comics, and I was talking about how my favorite character growing up was the Punisher. I was a big comic book geek as a kid. And I guess he had had a conversation with Axel, and Axel called me up and had read a couple of my books and was a fan of, uh, of my series that I wrote um, before I went to standalones. And it was just one of those conversations with Axel where he said, is this of interest? And now the first uh, ongoing series you're going to be working on here at Marvel is Vengeance of the Moon Knight, which is uh, relaunching Moon Knight into a new direction. What can you say about the book, kind of uh, its premise and setup? Well, the last time that we saw Moon Knight, he was down, down and out in Mexico, you know, kind of on the run. And what, what I wanted to do is bring it back totally bigger and bring him back to the heart of the Marvel Universe and make it a big, fun book. He's got new gizmos and gadgets. And it's just sort of a hardcore re-entry to the Marvel Universe, coming back. You know, he, was, he, was, he left a little bit with his tail between his legs, running from Osborne, and, and he's back in a different way. But one of the things that, that I'm playing with is to really bring him back in, where he's going to have, he's going to be interacting with the Marvel Universe in a way that he hasn't, in, in at least for a long time. And part of that tension is going to be what people think of him, and the fact that he doesn't fit, the fact that he is an outsider, the fact that everyone's waiting to see is he going to snap? Is he going to go back and be the old Moon Knight? Or is he going to be the guy who seems to have come back, who seems to most people like a, like a new and improved version? So a lot of things died with Mark Spector. There was that, that whole Moon Knight identity that we knew is gone. But, you know, a lot of the monsters are still knocking on the cellar door. And so here you have Jake. He's coming back. He's, he's a bit more straightforward. He's a street guy. He's tough. Um, and he's holding it together but there's always the question of you know is that cellar door gonna hold you know because you got Kanchu down there banging against it. You remiss if I didn't uh, mention Jerome Opeña who's the artist. Um, what's it like working with Jerome and have you seen any of his stuff so far? He did a great job on that first arc of Punisher and uh, seems really suited for this book. Jerome's art is just ridiculous. I worked with him on um, on one of my Wolverine one shots and his, his art on this is just sick. It's the best that I've seen him do. Um, which is saying a lot. Now you're in New York uh, here today. You're promoting your novel, Trust No One, the new one. Uh, how's the promotional tour going and, and what's the book about for folks who might want to check it out? It's been, it's been terrific. I'm, I'm on day three with no sleep because it just came out. Um, but it's a, it's so by a, the time this airs, you might, not be, you might not even be able to watch it on the computer. Well, I hope I'll have slept between now and then. But it's a big standalone thriller. It's a lot like the books and the, the, the movies I loved growing up as a kid. It's the big Hitchcock kind of suspense thriller. And I mean, basically, I got the premise for it when there's, I'm an insomniac. So my best ideas come between two and four in the morning. And there was one night I couldn't sleep, and I was lying there in the dark, and I just thought, what is the worst thing that could happen right now? And the first chapter, Trust No One, is a guy my age, you know, he's lying in bed, and basically a SWAT team just smashes into his apartment, drags him out of bed, uh, drags him downstairs. It's the middle of the night. Neighbors are out on the streets, and uh, he's looking around, waiting to see what'll happen, and all of a sudden, a Black Hawk helicopter comes over an apartment, sets down on the end of a cul-de-sac. They start dragging him towards it. He goes, wait a minute, where, you can't just take me, where are we going? And the guy says, the terrorist has just seized control of a nuclear power plant. And he says, he'll only talk to you. And that's the opening chapter. And this guy has no idea what's happened. So that was a lot of fun to play with. There's, there's kind of every man in way over his head plots that I love so much. Greg, thanks for taking the time to come in and chat with us. Vengeance of the Moon Knight coming out in September. Do you have a website where people can check yeah, out where you're going to be? W. Greg Hurwitz. I have an extra G on the end of my name just to be difficult. And it's greghurwitz.net, not .com, but greghurwitz.net. So take a look over there. Maybe you can catch Greg uh, coming to a city near you soon enough. Or Comic-Con. Or a Comic-Con near you. But uh, until then, we will leave you with that here at Marvel.com. I'm Ben Morse, and this is Marvel, your universe. Marvel, your universe.